welcome along and welcome back to Hope Belleron for our penultimate episode on this map. Uh, today, we've got a few bits to sell. We've got one item to buy because despite the fact that we're finishing off on here, uh, it's still a working farm and uh, the plan is to continue until the end as if we were going to be doing a new harvest and things. Um, what we are short on today is money, thankfully. We've got a few tomatoes loaded up in the back of here. Uh, and we need to empty this. So we're going to be starting off with that. Uh, heading over to the farm shop and getting these sold. And then we're going to head back to the farm and get the sunflower oil sold as well. Which should bring us in enough money to buy a new piece of equipment today. Something that we need in order to continue on on our farm. And so we bring this into here and our normal happy place to unload this stuff down at the uh, Jardin de Fermier farm shop. Open up the back. Out go the tomatoes and in comes 1,328 in sold product, which is great. Um, 134 on the environmental score. We're doing fairly well on the environmental score on here at the moment. Uh, let's just have a quick look at that because it's something we've not looked at too much with precision farming but uh yeah overall look at that environmental score at 84 we are failing a little bit on the weed control um uh, because we're not spot weeding and we failed a bit on the ph value uh because we we until recently haven't been taking control of it so uh as it goes into the next year it's actually going to to push that up a bit um which is great uh do we get to see individual yeah so we can see individual values on the field uh and uh yeah the 85 there again same things that are doing it uh the soil sampling is great and the tillage is great it is just uh the weeds and the uh, the weeds and the pH control, but uh, that should improve markedly now that we have it all sorted. So let's get back up to the farm. Let's get loaded up with sunflower oil, and I think that's going to be heading down this way as well. So let's get back into our farmyard and open up the back of this so that I can load in this sunflower oil. So we have a good amount of sunflower oil here. Uh, what we've got 12 pallets there we have a, another three here so that is 15 pallets in total i think we might have some do we have some in storage as well very possible we have some in storage let's see uh 1700 sorry 1072 and these are 960 so there's one more pallet in there as well so what we're gonna do is grab our little Kubota front loader tractor I do like this I'm very pleased that we managed to get this on here and get a third tractor on this game we've never managed to get a harvester of any kind and I have been very tempted actually to plant sugar beet for the next year uh, but uh, I think instead I was talking about getting another cedar and, uh, and getting things sorted. So I think we're going to do that. Now let's see. Can we get the sunflower oil in here? Up in one go. I'm not going to try and take two stacks at once. Whoa. No, I can't even take that. Uh, wait. Oh, let's not send that bouncing. No. So we're going to take single stacks. Or oh, actually, no. Can we take two pallets at once? The, uh, the other one is a bit heavy. But two pallets, is that in our remit? Yeah, it's lifting the back of the tractor a little bit. Uh, but I think we should be able to take it just a little way and get it in. Yeah, if we're careful, we'll be fine. So let's do that in there. And then our helper can restack it as we go in. And that is going to be the best way for us to do this. We'll do two pallets at a time. It'll be a little bit quicker. And uh, it'll also mean that... Uh, oh, wow, that doesn't want to stay on that. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be a little bit more efficient. I don't like the way that pallet was jumping then. That was not good. Now, I should note that while 
the price is fairly high for sunflower oil at the moment it is not currently at best price we are a few pound off that so let's load that in and if we have a look in here we can see that the best price we're looking for is 3886 current price is 3847 but crucially the price is still on the up so my hope is that by the time we've loaded all of this in and got it done and dusted have we got any more space in there is that full no that's not full no that is that is the uh most we can fit in there so that is seven thousand liters of sunflower oil so uh yeah we aren't quite at the best price yet um i think we might have to wait a couple of hours and see exactly what we can get the price up to uh it's it's gonna be a little bit higher that i really want to hit so i've given it a couple of hours it is now one minute past 11 and checking on the price we've now hit 3900 per thousand liters i think that is above the price we're aiming for yeah 3886 so i'm happy to sell at this point it is still on the way up and i think when we come to sell the rest of this uh which is probably another trailer load uh we should end up with a good price so uh yeah we're gonna end up with a good price for all of this seven thousand liters at nearly four thousand uh pounds a go is gonna be a really good payday i am uh, extremely happy about uh, what we're gonna make off the sunflowers to the point where i think we might actually put a field of sunflower in for the next year although having said that of course that's two crops uh, one after the other and uh, not a great way to do crop rotation now as i was saying a moment ago the price for this is still likely to go higher and before we unload it i will double check how much we're paying through that sell point here and then bring this around there we go right let's check the price one more time it's uh yeah it's already gone up by another 10 pounds so this is only going to go up and up and up at this point. Let's bring those open and unload all of this. Look at that money shoot up. And that is 27,378 plus 2,771. Uh, yeah, this is a, an enormously great payday for us off these sunflowers uh has made everything worth doing on them this year absolutely brilliant and we've still got another load of them to go so uh back up to the farm and uh load up again back down to the farm again and yeah i don't think there's more than one trailer full here we will see though let's get uh the remains of these two pallets in so back into our Kubota and reverse it up and get them loaded up. Oh, there we go. And up. I haven't checked my um, my greenhouse. I think we've got enough water in there still. Are they? Yeah, they're still producing tomatoes, which is good news. Uh, we probably need to check on the feed level for the cows as well. Uh, they uh, are going to need a bit more feed in the near future. And whoa. Oh, oh god that's that glitchy load up again that is not on there securely at all the good thing this sunflower oil is in plastic bottles because otherwise that would be a big problem right that will load in and done like that yeah these forks these front forks really don't like anything more than a single pallet of these sunflower uh pallets on here or <laughs> sunflower bottles pallets of sunflower pallets uh really don't like these uh yeah more than a single pallet of sunflower oil they uh they definitely freak out if you do more than that uh but that's fine we'll get these in we'll get them loaded up and uh yeah as i said looks like we're gonna get one more full trailer in here 
We'll see how much of these go in. Um, but it's it's really good. I mean, if it's going to be another 27,000 for these as well, uh, then, yeah, we are going to be in uh, with a really good amount of money. In fact, we already have enough money today to buy the piece of equipment I want to buy. Uh, so it's all good. We're looking really, really nice and pretty for what we want to get done. In fact, I think we're going to be left with a little bit extra because these are the last two pallets here and that is looking very full. I don't think it's going to take very much off this pallet to rebox. In fact, there we go. Yeah, still 58% left on here. So it's going to be one more run after this. We might actually just put these last two pallets in the flatbed for that last run and just sort of put this away but for now we've got another 7,000 liters let's get this down to the farm shop and see how much this is going to sell for per thousand liters back down to the farm shop again through the sell point and into this one open it up and how much is oh before i do that oh we sold a little bit before i do that how much is it worth? 3,952. And it's topped out at that by the looks of things. So, yeah, we are topped out at 3,954. So, uh, that's brilliant. That's a huge amount of money, well above the uh, price we're looking for. And how do I have a pallet of those sitting at the back? Okay, let's try and move these. Nope. They uh, seem jammed at the back there. So don't know what we're going to do about that because I can't seem to get them out. We want to sell those sunflower oils. That's a little bit weird. Okay, so by the time I got back down here to the farm, they'd corrected themselves. So we just got to get the last uh, couple of pallets in. We've got a few bits in here already and yeah this is uh this is going to top things off we are at seventy-two thousand on here and uh that's just really good we're gonna have a, another couple of thousand liters so there's there's probably another 10 grand sitting here that we've got to get delivered uh that's all good we're gonna get a direct seeder so next year we shouldn't need to uh cultivate the land first are we into that no we're just a little bit low there we go yeah these are these pallets are absolutely fine if you're just picking up a single pallet the moment you try and stack pallets and pick them up a it's really heavy for the tractor and b uh it just doesn't like it on the forks whoa well, they're in. So let's go park this up. Now that this is done. And yeah, we don't have any hay bales here, I don't think. So we don't have anything to feed the cows if we need to, unfortunately. Maybe we can rectify that back down at the uh, shop when we head down there in a bit. Uh, for now, though, let's just take this and go back up to the fir the uh farm shop one more time and get this sold and see what it's worth it is exactly two thousand liters that we have in here so it's it's definitely worth a fair whack of cash uh yeah i think i think this is going to be worth nine thousand at uh, four and a half thousand each no 3950 uh let's see let's pop out here get these doors open and then we can sell it off and see what it's worth and there we go 201 in the environmental score we sold a little bit first uh 8000 yeah we're up to 81403 so just under the 10000 in total very very happy with that Eighty-one thousand is a really good amount so what i'm going to do now is we're going to head back up to the farm we're going to grab uh the z tour i think and we're going to head down to the shop 
um, because for the rest of the afternoon, I want to start getting next year's crop into the ground. Because as I said, despite the fact that we will be finishing here next episode, we do want to continue this as if it's a functioning farm. Before we continue, this video is brought to you in partnership with the awesome people at Apex Gaming PCs. I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to create my own custom line of PCs suitable for everybody from beginner farmers to virtual farming experts. Apex Gaming PCs are offering up to $250 off your next purchase just by using my link in the description below. So go check them out. I've got two reasons for wanting to get this Z tour down to the shop. Uh, you could actually three reasons. We're a little bit low on the DEF. Uh, it needs a good repair, and it's going to be the perfect piece of equipment to do the next job with. So we're going to take it into the repair bay first. Well, let's turn the engine off if we're getting it repaired, and come into here. We want this, and repair on this is going to be 5,756. So I didn't want that getting any worse. Then we've got to head over to the shop and buy some goods that we need. So first things first, we need some DF. So I want to grab a pallet, and we want uh, one canister of DF. So we're going to buy that. Uh, no. And we get a... I'm going to get a 50 litre capacity. That should be enough, I think. Uh, no, actually, let's save a bit of cash, <laughs> he says. Uh, and buy that. Perfect. Uh, let's have a look in the sale stuff. Nothing in there that we really want today. Uh, some good bits and pieces, but yeah, nothing that we're after. So instead, what I'm going to have to do is go into the cedars and get the cedar that I've been looking at, uh, which is this one here. It is the Vadstad Rapid uh, 400C, uh, which should be really useful. Uh, we can get fertilization built into it or not. It adds a 1,000. I'm tempted, actually, to leave that off. We'll, we've got something to fertilize with, uh, and we'll use that instead uh license plate as always new piece of equipment we need to select a patron at random so uh let's go do that so of the names picked at random or the name picked at random from the producer level tiers of uh the patron galcom gamer congratulations so uh galcom is the number plate that we're going to be putting on here and uh, yeah, we can see it across the back there. So uh, we will buy that. Yes. So we can always add fertilization onto this later if we want to. Oh, and I need to check how much uh, seeds or how many seeds this takes. So let's see the capacity of it. Capacity is 4,300. I think we're only going to need a okay 4300 we can put uh that should be 4000 liters yep so we will buy that yes okay perfect so now we can load up our cedar with the big bags and uh we'll have enough seeds to get all this done first thing i want to do though is refuel our tractor with uh, the 25 litres of DEF, it is a little bit low. Can we refuel this from here? Uh, no. There we go. So that is now filling up our DEF. And it does take a little while to do this. I'm kind of glad that I haven't got... Uh, yeah, that I didn't buy the 50 litres. This is going to be more than enough. But you can see it goes down a little bit slowly. I should have hooked everything up and then just got this filling up as we went. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start loading up our cedar. We have got a nice open cedar anyway because they're sitting. it's sitting next to these. And I think... Oh, God, this is going to be tight. Can we get this in from the back with this? Or am I going to have to load it up from the side? Up onto there. Oh, wow. Am I going to be able to get this to load this up at all? Or should I have bought the Kubota down here? 
Yeah, that is not going to load that up, is it? That's not high enough. So we're going to have to go up to the farm, uh, grab our Kubota, or, uh, or maybe we get the truck back here. Either way, I've got a bit of a trip to do to get these sorted. And yeah, it's... How much is left in that? One litre. That is going to be super annoying, that is. We will uh, oh, we'll leave this with this. I think we're going to have to go back to the farm, uh, drop this off, and uh, and get the truck. I don't know if we're going to get to do some seeding today. Uh, it's getting fairly late in the day. And, uh, and as a result, it's going to be... Um, fairly late before we start maybe we can get the small fields done today that would be good right close that up and uh yeah we'll head back to the farm with this and come back with the truck to get the rest of these seeds i uh i don't know if we'll get any seeding done today at all to be honest beacons on and away we go right to dropped off and truck back down to the shop and uh, there we go and we worked out that the best way for us to load this in before was basically just try and hoik it over the sides so forwards and in and we should be able to load this up uh i do like the kubota or the jcb teletruck actually as shop uh pieces of equipment for loading stuff up they seem to work a lot better than the mana 2 does especially when i'm dealing with tray uh, with a uh, flatbed like this um it's it's a lot harder to get the oh come on in you go there's one other one in please uh it's a lot harder to get the stuff into the flatbed or the truck bed sorry i should say because this isn't a flatbed it make my life a lot easier uh with those kind of pieces of equipment than it is with this Manitou. This was not a good pairing. Um, and I think when we come to do Attingham Park and we select the piece of kit to go in the shop for, for there, uh, I think what we'll do is, uh, is probably have something that's got a little bit more extension on it. Uh, maybe even a... Um, uh, maybe even a skid steer or something like that. Just just to see if we can do a little better. I think we're going to end up with a flat bed for transport on there. See, that then, much better way that I got that one loaded up. Although, that has still got caught on the bed. Down. There we go. In and back out. That's how you do it. That's how you do it effectively. Like that. Yeah, right kit for the right job. Speak your witch. And I fit the add blue on the back of here. In here. Uh, we might have to load the truck bed for this. So, or well, the back of the truck bed. There we go. So, get that jammed in the back there. That should still close. Strap that all down. Close my truck bed. Yeah, that's fine. That's all in there. Perfect. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get this back and then we'll be all set up for probably our last day and our last job, uh, which we'll be getting next year's crop in and uh, seeing if we've actually managed to make some cakes. Have we managed to achieve what we wanted to before the end of this and uh, and managed to make some cakes? Have any been produced in time? Uh, we are going to find that out next time. And I'm excited. It's going to be really interesting to see if we've made cakes and how many we have if we have. But as our time rolls around to 5 p.m., I think that is where we are going to call it a day for this episode, which means that all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.